This protocol allows for the specific labeling and subsequent enrichment and identification of endogenous CK2 substrates from a complex biological sample, such as a cell or tissue lysate. This method can be applied to any cell type or tissue, thus facilitating the study of CK2 in various biological contexts. Demonstrating the procedure will be John Chanowski, a graduate student from my laboratory. To begin, mechanically lyse the tissue sample or cultured cells as outlined in the text protocol to collect a total of 900 microliters of sample. Centrifuge at 17,500 times gravity and at 4 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes. Then, transfer 270 microliters of the supernatant to each of three new 1.7 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes. Remove 40 microliters of the remaining supernatant to be used as an input control and transfer it to a new tube. Place all of the samples on ice. First, label each of the three sample tubes as shown here. To the kinase reaction tube, add 2.7 microliters of CK2 and 2.7 microliters of 2.5 millimolar GTP gamma S. Flick the tube to mix and immediately place it on ice. To the GTP gamma S only tube, add 2.7 microliters of 2.5 millimolar GTP gamma S and 2.7 microliters of lysis buffer. Flick this tube to mix and immediately place